born ready. Rock steady, my game heavy. Nothing you can tell me. No days off, and it's off season with Delhi. The heavies are all came jellies. I'm very complete. And y'all gon' find out whenever you need. I work in my sleep. Arms stay stretched for everything in my reach. And if my head down, then I'm tying my sneaks. Waiting for this moment. Wrote it down, now it's noted. I'm the best, now it's quoted. No different, gotta show it. Bring it, cause I'ma take it to the max. To the fam straight, like a perm. Never see me lag. You won't never see me back down for nothing. Brace yourself for the day that I'm coming. Now, how bad do you want it? Ready to rise, you ready like I Looking past you, my eyes on the prize Word. Ready to rise, you ready like I If you still unsure, my game will help you decide Word. I'm Coach Rick Perez, and I'm ready to rise On this episode of Ready to Rise We had the Red in Pennsylvania And catch up to Coach Rick Perez Head coach of the Red and High School Boys Basketball Team Coach Perez is in his ninth year with the Red Knights, where he has many accomplishments and experiences. Coach Perez is part of a program called KTB, which stands for Kids That Ball. This is a youth basketball program where younger children learn the fundamentals of the game as they grow into high school players. Youth basketball, as of lately, has garnered a lot of attention, mainly because it's so easy to find the next child prodigy and watch them grow and mature. We had a chance to sit down with Coach Perez as he gave us some insight on youth basketball. Real quick, man. I mean, listen, you uh, you guys, you can say something that a lot of high school coaches cannot say. You're a state champion. Just go through that real quick, that journey and what it felt like at the end. Well, I'm going to start at the end, all right? And people don't believe me, but I, my first thought when we won uh, – and I was going through the line, shaking hands. I said, who's going to be my starting five next year? <laughs> the coaching piece, I don't want to say is overrated. It, it, you know, it's not about your X's and O's. It's about how you're able to align people. And what's most important is they have to be willing to align themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what it was. They were willing to move and shift themselves and sacrifice in any way the team needed, you know. Everybody knows Lonnie could have been a 30-point scorer. He's like, no, no, that's not what my team needs. This is what they need. Lonnie Walker Jr., who was a first-round draft pick of the San Antonio Spurs in the 2018 NBA draft, played his high school basketball under Coach Perez at Redden High School, where he helped win a state championship. The thing that epitomizes what we were about, they were 100% accountable to what we were about and to our culture. Yeah. <laughs> so Tymere's at Daniel Boone, and he playing Daniel Boone. It wasn't, you know, we were better, obviously, at that point, you know. And Tymere airballs a free throw. So as part of our culture, you airball a free shot, okay, or you airball anything, it's 10 push-ups. We're in the game. And he does 10 push-ups right in the middle of the game. <laughs> you know, and it's... They, they weren't too cool for the culture. They weren't too cool for each other. So for us, it, it made it easy. That not too cool for the culture mantra, Coach Perez made clear, and his players followed that system to a T. Coach Perez also explains how, as a coach, he has to make adjustments every year as he inherits new players, which means new personalities. For example, I'm in my ninth year coaching. This is a brand new group. I can't expect them to be where I have been over the last nine years. Every group is different. Every group is, I have to start them at a different level. You have to relate to everyone, you know? I, I'm big on transformational leadership. You can't be closer to your leading scorer, okay, than you are to the guy at the end of the bench. You gotta love them all, and they're all just as valuable. They all mean just as much to the program and team. The next topic of discussion was highlight tapes, the pros and cons, and where they used to hide a player's weakness. Coach Perez broke it down for us and kept it a hundred when it comes to the use of highlight tapes. People are creating their own hype. You know, they're feeding their own egos. And on one end, um, it's, it's very unhealthy. At the end of the day, your highlight tape is cute. You gotta step on the floor for 32 minutes. Let's see what it is. Coach Perez also explains how highlight tapes are great for recruiting. However, there is a strategy on how to package that tape. We use highlight tapes all the time, you know, um, and we'll put them out at certain points of the year, you know, for college coaches. We know when there's a big recruiting time. And really, I'm not putting it out to say this kid is all that. I'm putting it out to highlight that young man's skill set. So when you're talking to a real coach who truly understands, they're saying, well, coach, I didn't see him hit any threes or he didn't drive really to his left. 
<laughs> because he can't shoot and he don't, he don't got a left. But you see, he does have a nice one dribble pull up to his right. He does have good footwork in his paint. So what you saw is what you get. Mm. <laughs> what mm. you didn't see, you got to work on that. Mm. So if these are some of the intangibles that you would like to work with, he's your guy. Coach Perez points out how a player's highlight tape makes them that much easier to defend. We use it in scouting. I mean, kids are going to highlight what they do. Right. So if right. you're putting highlight tape, I'm going to watch it. You know, so yeah. if I liked your highlight tape, it's not because I'm it's because I scouted you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, those are your moves. That's what I. Okay, so I'm gonna take that away, and right. we are gonna make you do what was not my highlight tape. On my way over here, I was having a conversation about um, the ranking systems, 247 and um, ESPN. They're the ones that really uh, the colleges go by, and that starts the tenth grade. It starts the tenth grade. But then everything below, like, you know, they have these other ranking systems that go as low as second grade. Uh, it's just, it's, it's taking the authenticity, you know, out the game. I let them play. Second grade, you don't know what's going to happen. I see the dopiest of kids grow up and become something amazing. Oh, yeah. But, I, you know, the people who are, you know, the 247 and, and, and ESPN, they're amazing. Their minds, mm -hmm. the way they see the skills is, is amazing. And, you know, they do make it much easier uh, to make a Walmart for recruiting. It's very easy. Let me get the list. Let me see what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't get him. I can't get him, but I can move down the list. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I I get that and I understand that and uh, I've met some of those amazing people and they're so the way they see the game, the way they can break down talent is amazing. Recreation versus dedication, a widely used term in the basketball community. There is a fine line between the two and Coach Perez gives us his insight. Whether it's recreation or dedication, where's the will to compete? I, I just think, you know, it's, it's misinterpreted and people may be misconstruing their goals as to what they want to do. Parents, follow joy, follow happiness, you know. Don't look for, there's so many people out here selling so many different levels of exposure or this or that. If, if you're chasing that, you're chasing the wrong thing, you know. If, if your child is laughing, if your child's giving high fives, they're enjoying what they're doing and they're building relationships, you're winning. You know, that, that is the stable base from there. Anything can happen, you know, but I think it all comes down to relationships, um, you know, authentic, genuine relationships. And if your child's establishing that at a young age, you know, you're, you're, you're winning. You know, we're living in a world of mentally ill, you know, people who are suffering at a young age nowadays. If you can just build that confidence and build that support network, that's what you need to utilize the sports for. Um, from there, anything can happen, you know, um, and, and just empower them, love them, and joy. I mean, when you're sitting in the stands, be joyful. Whether they're on the bench, whether they airball, whether they diss, you know, just enjoy it. Humility, um, you know, let's stop coaching. We're not coaches, yeah. we're parents. <laughs> be a parent, you know. Um, they, that's what you pay the money for the guy to coach them or the lady to coach them. Let them coach them. You be their parent and just enjoy it. Because, you know, you can make or break a child's dreams and everything, all those relationships, in the first two minutes in the van. I know how it is. You know, it's, it's tough, you know, it's, but enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Kiss them right away, hug them, tell them you're proud of them, great job. They need to know that, they need to feel that. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Super, and this is Ready to Rise. You just finished watching our third episode, which will be our last episode for the time being due to the coronavirus pandemic that left us practicing social distancing. But be sure to check out all of our social media outlets and our website at readytorisetv.com. And if you are an athlete that wants to be featured, give us an email at dhill at readytorisetv.com. Once again, thanks for watching. Be safe.